Hi, I'm Dave with Cadet Heat. Hey, and I'm Thomas with Cadet Technical Support. So you've installed the 240 volt baseboard heater. Thank you, by the way. We need to talk about thermostats. Yes. These look very different, but they're, they're both 240 volt. Correct. Both of these can be used for 240 volt. These are both single pole thermostats. What's the difference between double pole and single pole? With these being single poles, there's no off feature on either of these thermostats. So as soon as, if you notice, this one's set down as low as it can go. Mm -hmm. As soon as that thermostat drops, the temperature in the room drops below a certain set point, this one being 40, then the thermostat will tell the heater to kick on. So automatically. Correct. Okay. Well, the electrician has come in and ran the wires for us and then stripped the wires for us. So I'll just get out of the way so you can do some work. Thanks, sir. Before you do anything else, you're gonna to wanna to turn your breaker off. So first, you're going to connect the white wires together coming out of the J block with a wire nut. Now connect the bare copper ground wires together using a wire nut. Unscrew the set screw and disconnect the thermostat from the sub base. The TH106 is not polarity sensitive, so you can connect either black wire on the sub base first. Connect one wire from the sub base to one black wire coming from J box. Now connect the remaining wire on the sub base to the remaining back wire in the J box. Carefully tuck all wires into the J box and secure the sub base with the provided screws. Now attach the thermostat to the sub base and secure with the set screw. Oh, Thomas, that looks pretty easy. What's next? Yep, now that it's all installed, we're going to go ahead and wire up our baseboard and then we'll check it to see how it All right, let's get to it. If you haven't already done so, attach your bare copper ground wire to the green ground screw in the wiring compartment. Locate the one factory connection with the one wire that comes from the top of the wiring compartment. Cut that factory connection. Now strip the wires with wire strippers. You want about a quarter to a half inch of bare copper wire exposed. The baseboard is not polarity sensitive. It does not matter which wire you hook up first. Connect one black wire from the heater to the white wire from the wall. Now connect the last black wire from the heater to the black wire from the wall. Now safely tuck all wires in the heater wiring compartment and attach cover plate with provided screw. All right, well, it's all wired. So uh, we just have to flip the breaker, turn it back on. What if people have questions along the way? Yeah, you guys can go ahead and call us here at Cadet or get a hold of us on our chat feature online. That's a great way to get your questions answered as well. All right, I'm Dave. I'm Thomas. And thank you for watching our video.